Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily and morning meditation, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And yesterday, remember, I reminded you that you should be trying to read all four of the lessons that are assigned for the daily office, uh, and we looked at the lesson that was assigned from Ephesians. Today, I'm going to encourage you to take a look at the lesson that's assigned for Proverbs. Uh, but of course, you should read all four lessons if you have opportunity. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Okay, so let's look at a couple first things. First of all, the, the writer of Proverbs, this wisdom literature, uh, is, is setting up for us the reality that if we live in accordance with God's will, our life will go much better. It won't always be easy. Right? There will certainly be people, wicked people, uh, sinful people who will try to distract us. And the evil one will use all sorts of distractions that he can use to try to draw us away from the love of God. But overall, if we are in fact keeping his commandments and we are learning to love our neighbors as ourselves and to love God with all our heart and our mind and our soul and our strength, guess what? Things will go smoother and will begin to make more sense. Maybe hard in points. And, and our own getting used to living that way will be hard, right? Just as it is the person who's been sitting on the couch for months gets up and decides he's going to start running. The first couple of days of running, it's really hard. But the more you do it, right, the easier it gets. The same is true with living the spiritual life. It, it's going to be hard, right? Your old habits are going to want to try to take over. But if we just are persistent in living the spiritual life, reading the scriptures, saying our prayers, all of those important things, well, then guess what? Boom! these things will take care of themselves, right? Uh, we will actually begin to be trained up in that discipline. But the other part that's really kind of hard for us is those last two lines at the end. Um, you know, after we're told not to, to be wise in our own eyes, right? Or and, uh, he goes on to say, ready? My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Right? Neither be weary of his correction. Right? Nobody wants to be chastened. Nobody wants to be corrected. Nobody wants to be told they're doing wrong. But the, the writer of this, and of course it's scripture, so it should be ad adhered to, says that we shouldn't despise it and that the Lord, in fact, may chasten us, right? He may have to get our attention. I always joke about how sometimes the Lord has to whack me right between the forehead with a, a board like a stubborn mule, because often I am a stubborn mule, right? Sometimes I need to be chastened. It does happen. Um, and so I, I shouldn't be weary of correction for why? Because whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, right? I know it's hard for us to imagine, but it's true. All correction that comes from the Lord is because he loves us. It, it, just as a father corrects his son, right? I remember actually uh, being at a, a, a diocesan gathering, uh, interestingly enough, and I made a, a comment about how sometimes God says no. And, and another priest said to me, goodness gracious, God doesn't do tough love. I was like, really? He doesn't, right? Uh, of course he does. And sometimes he has to correct us. And it's a good thing because you know, left to my own devices, I am a sinful, sorry lot. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that victory includes being able to begin to live holy lives according to his will. So it's important for us to remember that. And, and you know, here it is we begin to learn how to love him and live for him. And our lives will begin to make some sense and order. Not always perfect, but improved. Uh, so today's Wednesday. We have our 1215 Holy Communion service in the church. Uh, and then 5 o'clock evening prayer. I hope that you can join us live or 
online at facebook.com slash St. John's Detroit or youtube.com slash St. John's Priest, basically where you're watching these videos right now. And may God bless you with a wonderful Wednesday.